Hi, this is going to be the sneak preview of Arconix B Budgie Minimal. We still need to make a proper uh, picture for it, but the video how to build Arconix B Budgie Minimal is already online. So let's go and get our, um, let's put it up, let's let's load up ISO virtu in VirtualBox. So super F7. Budgie, that's this one, is a, let's clone this one, let me type it first, latest Arco Linux B Budgie, but this time a minimal version, meaning there's a package list and you, if you edit the package list, then you can have a completely different ISO. So the budget minimal, that's why it says min here, is 1.75, the same as the GNOME, more or less. And um, I was saying, I was thinking about telling you about budget and GNOME. So just print, press enter first, control F to full screen. <coughs> the point is, when you install budget, uh, you also get GNOME with it. You can install it without GNOME, but it, you will see, uh, mark my words, it's not a full desktop then. You still need a lot of stuff for from GNOME to be um, to have a functional desktop, basically. When we boot up, we boot up in XFCE. XFCE is our delivery system, so you don't see anything. At this point in time, you choose your language you want to have it in, and then you choose your continent and your city. Mine is Brussels. Just pinpoint or use the drop downs here. Choose a uh, system language if you want to change it, or the numbers and dates locale if you need to. Then you choose your keyboard wisely, since once it's installed, it will be that for default. Erase, next, and go. So, my name is Eric, and this is Arco Linux B, and we're testing it out. It's a GNOME version but it's a minimal version. So it means that some of the stuff have left out, have been left out. Three browsers, nope, just one browser. Music player, nope, no music player. VLC is there, but a lot, a lot of software like Inkscape, GIMP and all those things have been left out. It's up to you to decide if you want it or not. Then you run this script 30, you get an ISO, and this is a result. This is what we're now installing. Let's wait for this Calamaris to install everything come back and everything is done we stop this calamaris install we could click here click here but do one of those because we want to get rid of the iso so shut down in and virtual box anyway so if you work on usb it differs of course so if we want to reboot again we don't want to see the iso again so the iso is now gone empty and we're going to boot like on a regular wrap like this. But with, um, uh, well, there can be an issue if you don't know that we have lots of stuff installed up here. So since Budgie is not a complete desktop, it provides us with all these elements, all these desktops. But the one we need, of course, is going to be this one. So if you don't select them and say, what did I, what did I install? I installed GNOME. No, it's Budgie. And we have we need parts of GNOME to have a complete desktop. So do remember just once more, do remember budget desktop. Then we log in, then everything kicks in. It finds that I have 1800 pixels, 1920 on 1080 pixels. And this is your budget uh, look, and we can start tweaking everything and changing everything. Variety is there to just help you choose another wallpaper, since this one we know by now. And um, all right, let's take this one. So a wallpaper has been changed. We have also other ways to change the um, the budget desktop, but it's figuring out again. Hey, how does everything work? Uh, termite is present or not? Well, let's go first over everything that's installed. What is a minimal one, right? So, accessories. A lot of things have been installed because of GNOME, so recipes and maps, 
things I'll probably never use, but the GNOME Pie is real nice. And the USB uh, formatter and image writer is there. The games that come with GNOME is there, or are there. And graphics, photos is here, internet, Polari, Vivaldi. So just Vivaldi is our choice and all the rest comes from GNOME. Office is here, but context and evolution, mail calendar is here. Programming, lots of stuff in here. I have not installed out of the box sysprof. Check it out what it is later. So Brazero instead of xfburn on xfce. So every desktop environment has his um, applications that it, it pushes forward and it in, installs with a simple command like sudo pacman minus s gnome. And then you get a bunch of softwares, which is called a group. Um, so if you don't want that, you need to be more specific, not say give me a group of applications, but just a few of them. So this is what we call, or what I call, the Lego blocks. What Lego blocks do you want on your system? So this is your uh, minimal installation. And then I went to look for tweaks and see if this can work here as well. So appearance are dark. They have been installed, the other ones. Breeze. So for a minimal one, this is actually not uh, the idea. So probably get, going to get rid of them later on files so this is the look now you choose what kind of color you'd like on this machine and we have fonts we can change keyboard mouse startup application and title bars and some windows elements so you tweak your system any way you see fit and let's uh, stop with a control t see if that's working so that's not working so it means that you have a well a, a new system a budget system without any keyboard shortcuts you put them in there if you don't want them you don't put them in there simple as that so it's um, it's a minimal for a reason and let's finish with this screenshot here for the article on article xb all right have fun